Hello grade 9 science class. We are back again with lesson 3 of the electricity unit. This one is titled current electricity. So we've talked about static electricity and the key behind static electricity was that the charges, once they were on their objects, they weren't moving anymore. Uh, we could transfer one to another, but overall we had a negative object with negative charges. We had positive objects that had fewer negative charges on them uh, and those those electric charges weren't moving other than through sparks or through lightning um, that is kind of the key behind static electricity is non-moving charges uh, when we go into current electricity here that means we're going to start talking about charges that are moving um, or we talk about this as current just like water has a current in a river so does electricity have a current as it moves down a wire? So that's what we're going to talk about is current electricity, electricity that is moving. So static electricity, stationary, current electricity, moving, big key. Current electricity is the continuous flow of electrons down a specific path. Generally, what we talk about this as is wires, down electrons moving down wires. And remember, Protons and neutrons, they stay where they are, but electrons can move. So el current electricity is the continuous flow of electrons moving down a wire. For, so for example, this could be the cord that charges your phone. Electrons need to flow down that wire into your phone battery to charge up that battery. So then you can use that electricity later. Um, when we talk about current, it is donated, denoted sorry, by the letter I. So I know that's a little bit different, so I wanted to let you know about that now, as in a few lessons we're going to start talking about current and voltage and a whole bunch of good stuff like that. So I want you to know that current is denoted as the letter I. Uh, this will be very important later as we go along. So current electricity in metals, uh, which make up the wires in most electrical circuits, the positively charged nuclei of the atoms are held in a fixed position. So this is the same thing that I said previously. Uh, positively charged protons, the nuclei that are positively charged, they are stationary. They do not move. The negatively charged electrons, what we call the charge carriers, are free to move about in the metal, which is why they can move continuously down a metal wire. Uh, some uses for the... oh. I skipped ahead here. So again, I want to show you this picture. Um, it reiterates why positive charges stay where they are because they are bulky and stuck together in the, in the nucleus, while electrons can move around. They are light, they are outside, they can easily be rubbed off. Um, so they are, they are the ones that can move, electrons. And I think it's very clear from these pictures. So some uses, key point two for current electricity. Uh, current electricity creates magnetic fields which are used in motors and in generators to make electricity stored for later. Uh, electricity causes joule heating, so uh, it causes light in light bulbs, it causes your element to get hot on your stove or even your oven if you have an element oven to get hot. Um, it is um, very important um, for cooking, I guess you could say, joule heating. And it also can, electricity is used, uh, current electricity is used in emitting electromagnetic waves, which is used in like radio broadcasts or TV broadcasts or using your um, radio or even your phone um, emits current electricity um, in specific waves so that we can broadcast information. So current electricity has a ton of uses. These are not the only ones, just some different ones here. Uh, conventional current. So it's important to think about uh, electrons moving down a wire as why electricity works. But before uh, we really knew that electricity was electrons, uh, that it was these subatomic particles, uh, we didn't know that it was electrons, protons, and neutrons. Uh, scientists believe that positive charges were the uh, ones moving on electrical wires. Uh, it became clear later that it was the negatively charged particles moving, but essentially it was too late um, to change the convention. So it had been used throughout the world that current uh, moved opposite to what became clear later on. 
Uh, I'll show you a diagram of this, but essentially conventional current moves the opposite way of that the electrons are moving. Just because people decided it long, long ago, and they were too lazy to fix it and just like send it out to everyone and change all the diagrams and all their papers. So they just decided that they are going to accept their mistake and go with it. This has happened a couple of times in science where they screw up at, with the name and then they just work with it. So here's what we have. Um, if this is a battery, um, the electrons go from the big end to the small end. Essentially, this means that there's lots of electrons here and there's not many here. So electrons would flow along this wire here, up here, around, down to the small end. So, um, pardon me, I got that completely wrong. Uh, the flow of electrons is the other way. Uh, it's from the small end to the large end. So <laughs> the electrons would go, I apologize, from the right side here around to the other side. You can see that with the green arrow here. Electrons move along the green um, path, so that way. So they would go up and around. This is counterclockwise. Um, we write that the current would be actually going this way along with the red arrow. So we would say the red arrow uh, is the way that the current goes and the green arrow is the way that the electrons go. That will be a little bit confusing as we go along, um, but it is known as conventional current, and that is how everyone talks about current. Current flows the opposite way of electrons, which is very, very confusing. So conventional current, again, the direction of conventional current is arbitrarily defined as the direction in which positive charges flow. No, positive charges don't flow. Electrons flow, negative charges flow. So that's why this idea is very, very counterintuitive, but very, very important for the way that we talk about electricity. Electrons, therefore, flow in the opposite direction of the conventional current flow in an electrical circuit. Um, hopefully, as we move on, we can just focus on conventional uh, current. We won't talk about electron motion as much, but for now, we need to understand that conventional current moves the opposite way of the electron flow. Now, uh, we have another diagram here. Uh, if you have a battery, uh, you have a negative end and a positive end. The negative end has all the electrons in it. The positive end has very few. The electrons will flow from this end down this wire through the light bulb, turn the light bulb on, made it, make it light and hot, and then come down this way into the positive end of the battery. We would, however, talk about the current moving from the positive end through the light bulb to the negative end. So uh, I'm gonna ask you some questions about it. It's kind of a big deal when we start talking about electricity, knowing that the flow of electrons is the opposite to the flow that we have denoted as current. Um, there are some examples of current electricity given here. Some of them you already know, all of them you already know all about. You use them almost every day, um, probably playing video games more than any other. Um, but there are a few tasks that I'd like you to do. One of them includes writing a story approximately one page where um, the person or current electricity is used 10 times. So you can use examples that we've talked about. You can use examples from your own life. You can make this a realistic story or a fantasy story. As long as electricity or current electricity is used 10 times in that story. Again, if you guys have any questions, uh, please let me know, especially about conventional current and the motion of electrons. Um, but I hope to see you very soon in class. Thanks so much.